What's up everyone, Alex here. I had the privilege of interviewing Junso Hosoi, who is the head of Gust, about the upcoming Atelier Marie remake, and I wanted to share with you his responses, which covers the Atelier franchise's 25th anniversary celebration, his thoughts on adding English voiceovers to future Atelier games, and whether Atelier Marie's release means we'll see older titles like Vanakemia make a return. So if you want answers to these burning questions, keep on watching. Many thanks to Hollowed Be Thy Game for reading Hosoi san's responses for me. First of all, thank you for finally bringing Atelier Marie to the West. How has the fan reaction been since the announcement? Overall, we received positive feedback. In particular, there were many comments like, I used to play it, so I want to play it again. I've always been curious about the original Atelier game, and I want other titles to be remade. Since the original version of Atelier Marie has not been released outside of Japan, people are happy that an overseas version will be released. Since Atelier is now part of an illustrious list of games that have been around for about a quarter of a century, I wanted to get your thoughts on what the Atelier series means to you and what you think has made the series see a resurgence over the years. Thank you, it's all thanks to the players. For me, the Atelier series has been passed down through Gust and its culmination of the efforts of the creators at Gust at the time. So I'm always striving to bring the best experience possible by doing and putting in everything I can at this moment. I believe the reason that we've been able to continue for so many years is because we are always thinking about what our players want from us. At the risk of sounding obvious, especially given the previous questions, I have to ask, why did you choose Atelier Marie specifically to do a modern remake? The Secret series and others have led to a great increase of the number of people who are interested in the Atelier series itself. We chose to remake Atelier Marie in order to convey the origin of the series, especially to those who are not really familiar with Atelier Marie. I love how the remake looks and how it pays tribute to the original game's art direction. Can you explain the thought process that went into selecting the new art style for the remake? We're developing this game on the concept of remaking the visual image of that time in a modern way. Since the original also used many characters, we're following that style and feel. We did initially discuss the possibility of making the characters full size, as in the Rising games, but we felt that this would give the impression that the game is like a current Atelier series JRPG. Uh, compared to the modern games, Atelier Marie has more of a simulation game feel to it, so there would be a gap based on the image one would get from the way it looks. Therefore, we thought it would be best to create a 3D version of Marie with character proportions similar to the original version of the game. Adapting an older title for modern RPG fans comes with a lot of considerations. I'm curious to know what were the biggest challenges you faced in remaking Atelier Marie, and which elements you felt needed modernization the most. We were very careful about giving players guidelines for the game. The original version of the game had very little in-game guidance, so some players were unsure of what to do the first time that they played the game. In this version, we added tutorials to each feature and also made it easier to understand what to do by presenting a goal for a short period of time called Professor Ingrid's Task. One of the best changes in arranging the game is gathering. Uh, in the original version, gathering did not involve walking in the field, but instead making a selection to obtain a random item. We felt that it would be lacking for people who enjoy modern Atelier games, so we changed the specs to a modern style of gathering where you walk around in the field, making it easier to get the items that you're looking for, and so the game balance has been adjusted accordingly. Many new fans who started playing the series thanks to the Atelier Rise of Trilogy cite the removal of time limits as a major reason why these games became so much more enjoyable, leading to a more cozy experience that matches the series' relatively easygoing and low-stakes tone. I want to know what the team thinks about time limits in general, and how that relates to Atelier Marie and future installments. Although time limits or deadlines are an important part of the gameplay in Atelier Marie, many recent Atelier fans and RPG fans may not be comfortable with a deadline system, so we've made it possible to choose to have no deadline in this title. If there are future titles that include deadlines, it could be part of an option that meets a wider range of needs. 
One of the most asked features in our community is English voice acting, specifically for accessibility purposes. And there were longtime fans who expressed disappointment when they found out that Atelier Marie wouldn't have it as well. Can you share your thoughts about English voice acting and its absence in more recent games, including Atelier Marie? We will consider English audio in the future so that more overseas fans can enjoy our games. When I heard the news that the voice actors from the original game were reprising their roles for this remake, I admit that I was overcome with joy. What was it like working with them and returning to these roles? And what was it like going back in and remaking all of the iconic songs from the original soundtrack? Even though it is a remake, we wanted to ensure that we kept the atmosphere and the appeal of the time, so we intentionally used the voices from the original version. When we talked about the remake to the voice actors, they were happy because they had a lot of feelings for Atelier Marie. The same is true for the music, which is remade with a modern arrangement, but you can still feel the atmosphere of the time. Both the remake and the original version are included in the game, so we hope that you will enjoy both versions of the tracks. Speaking of, many developers in the industry have seen remakes as an opportunity to go back and do some really cool things that just weren't possible with older technology. Were there any cut ideas or content that the team felt would be great to revisit and implement in the remake? given the advantages of modern technology? I think the biggest evolution for the time is the visual production aspect. By using 3D CG for battles and synthesis, we are able to achieve a dynamic presentation that was not possible at the time. In addition to 3D, there have also been significant changes to the 2D production. The conversation scenes with still images that retain the atmosphere of the original version are made smoother with the use of spine which makes it possible to express the characters in a more livelier way. After Atelier Marie, is there any possibility for more classic Atelier games to see modern remakes or remasters? Manakemia, for instance, is beloved in the West, and the last time I checked, the second game was being sold for more than the premium price, above $200. It's possible. It's one of the goals to have the entire Atelier series starting with Atelier Marie available in the digital stores. I hope everyone can support us. Atelier Marie Remake is coming out on July 12th on PS4, PS5, Switch, and PC. If you're curious how Atelier Marie Remake plays, I have a preview video of the game on the video linked up top that you can check out. Many thanks to Mark from 1PR and Koi Tecmo for giving me this opportunity to interview hosoi san Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.